member of mine from the sun. The higher level kids can just take off and go. What word? Get ready. I have kids in my kindergarten class reading 60 to 70 words per minute. If they're doing well, they can move up. They can surpass the rest of the group. They're never held back. When everybody was sleeping, he would go get the lifeboat and swim to Angel's Island. The high achieving students, their place where they need to be placed and is letting them know that they're expected to achieve more. If you have a, a program that is this strong, with students who are higher, you, you just move through it faster. This is a story about a program that helps all kids achieve their true potential. From reading to social studies, the direct instruction curriculum not only helps lower performing kids catch up, it enables higher performing kids to soar. One school that has a lot of experience with direct instruction is Fickett Elementary in Atlanta, Georgia. Dad and his sister painted the bike. That's Pluto, the old man said. It is much farther from the sun than Saturn. He was an intruder on Angel Island, and he didn't have smallpox already, so they didn't want it to spread. Fickett Elementary has received implementation support from the National Institute for Direct Instruction, also known as NIFTY. Mood, okay, I couldn't read it. Bad mood, excellent, nice. I think it's a school we've been working with now for uh, four years, and over the, uh, the course of the four years, we have seen our graduates be higher and higher in the program. And what's wonderful about this particular program is that everything is there for the students, but if we have students that don't need as much practice, we can accelerate them through. We always check kids as they're going along to see if they can move up to other programs. Excellent. Shania. The first two levels of Direct Instruction's Reading Mastery program use small group instruction to help students unlock the wonders of reading. His sister said, that looks like fun. Don said, why don't we paint the sidewalk? Isaiah, what word? Get ready. Yes. Scare. This is my second year teaching direct instruction, so it was very new and unusual, but I've come to really like DI just because I've seen how much it does for the children. The end of the year for kindergarten, children should be reading on 30 words per minute, and I have kids in my kindergarten class reading 60 to 70 words per minute. I love to eat things that are good, good, good. Brooklyn, why do they need firewood? To make their food. To make their food so they can cook their food to eat it. Next sentence, Isaiah. The dog said, I hate to walk, 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 but I love to talk, talk, talk. Four, four times. So you should have said it freezes four times. Can you continue tracking and continue reading? Brittany. Each ring shows one trip to the top of the cloud. The small light bulb was sliding up huge waves and then down the other side of the waves. Edna felt sick and dizzy. Thank you. What was making Edna? My name is Melanie Johnson. Um, I've been teaching direct instruction for five years. Almost all students that have been in the program since kindergarten are fluent readers by third grade. The light bulb slid down the wave and Edna could not see anything but water. Then the boat moved up, up to the top of a, another wave. Now Edna could see the thing that Carla had pointed to, but it wasn't land, it was a wave much bigger than the other ways. I love its flexibility. I've been very pleased with the fact that my students can move up or down levels just depending on where they are and how they're achieving. If, if they're doing well, they can move up. They can surpass the rest of the group. They're never held back. They're always right where they should be. What did she think was land? She thought she saw land, but what was it really? Yolanda? Another way. Just another way. A thousand miles away in Alliance, Nebraska, 
another school working with a different population has seen similar results with direct instruction. Welcome to Emerson Elementary School. Read nice and loud so your friends can follow along. Next sentence, Brianna. He had buttons on his hat and buttons on his socks. Nice reading. Joel. He had 10 big buttons on his pants. Nice. Gregory. The man said I have... Thanks to direct instruction, these kindergartners are reading well above the level of many first graders. Had red buttons and gold buttons. Nice work. Brandy. He had lots of big... I've taught for 15 years. Um, I've had the opportunity this year to work with three different levels and the kids are placed at their reading level. So those that need to go a little bit faster are placed in the correct group okay, and they can the work at their own pace. Okay, Brianna, next sentence. So the farmer took off the big red button. One thing that I really appreciate about the program is I know that they're not guessing. They're actually nice sounding out each and every word. Um, they're not relying on context clues. They're not relying on picture clues. They are actually doing the reading independently. And they'll carry that knowledge and those tools with them and be able to, to learn a lot more, be able to read their assignments and read their textbooks. The Brown family comes to catch goats. Everybody, what's the title of the story? In this first grade class, students that had direct instruction last year in kindergarten are racing ahead. Here is a picture of binoculars. Follow these instructions. I've been teaching school for 34 years. Never had kids read like this before in first grade. Even my low ones are reading like crazy. <laughs> She's swimming. There's no way she could get away. Fifteen of them were on vacation at Four Mile Lake, and they decided to spend all their time looking for go more next time. First, you'll read two information passages. The first one tells about binoculars. Everybody. The Reading Mastery Program is designed with the content that kids will need to succeed in all academic subjects. All right, good job. It includes science and social studies and all sorts of things right in with reading. So. The high kids love it. They really do. Boys and girls, find Part B in your textbook. We're not going to start with the vocabulary. We're going to start with Part B. You're going to read the next story about Henry and Tim. First, you read. It was my privilege this year to teach a higher level reading group. And because they were all at the same level, they could just soar. And they did. I've had first graders this year who are reading at a fourth, fifth grade level. And they're doing very, very well with it. Well, if you want to find out which place has more heat, you count the number of mines from the sun that hit the, that place. There are a lot of uh, stories that are uh, scientifically based, a lot of stories that are historical. The equator receives more heat than any other part of the Earth. Of all the programs that I've seen and used, this is by far the most effective, and these kids are reading better than I've ever seen. It would have made sense for the geese to travel in 200 miles. Five, Smile. four, three, two, one. Good morning, Figure Charges, and welcome to another great day of learning. Uh, he's in Reading Mastery. Remind me, Miss Hardwick, from Reading Mastery 5, and these are fifth graders, but I understand there's... Back at Fickett in Atlanta, Teachers know that in order for kids to soar, they need continuous professional development in the direct instruction methodology. Nifty provides Fickett's teachers with extensive training, on-site support in all aspects of the direct instruction program, and ensures that weekly assessment of student placement and performance in the program takes place. Direct instruction is channeled and programmed to fit the skills of a, of a particular child. The kids are assessed and evaluated on such a regular basis, and then if the child is reading above grade level, DI makes a way for that child to go ahead and be placed up if necessary. They're, never, they're, they're very rarely placed down. We'll start with Ms. McAfee, and what we're looking at here is this is a kindergarten. 
We've got three groups here, uh, nine, five, and four kids. So we're looking at really good lesson gains, especially for the bumblebees. Now, did they go back, Ms. Hardwick? Remind me. So they had seven lessons. In Regular assessment of student performance allows some kids to make spectacular progress while at elementary school. Who can tell me some of the things that were very significant that Harriet did to help the union? Alasia. Harriet helped the Union during the Civil War by being a nurse, and she helped the slaves escape on the Underground Railroad. Very good. Torin, can you add any more to that? Harriet helped the, the Union during the Civil War by raiding parties, fight, actually fighting in the Army, and she When we look at our highest students here, we have now one group in Understanding U.S. History, which is a seventh grade uh, social studies program. We're using it as reading in the content area. And a second group will be entering Understanding U.S. History right after the break. And we're talking about students who go out. Their teacher requires them to bring in articles from the newspapers on Monday about world current events and local current events. And they sit and they discuss these with what they've learned about, U about Understanding U.S. History and how to look at historical problems, because what happens historically often will pertain to what's happening now and these students have become very insight, insightful about what's going on and have, have opinions about what's going on in their world today. Now we've been discussing how early Native American cultures meet their basic needs. Okay? Which group did we begin to examine yesterday? Which group did we begin to examine yesterday? Dashe. The group we began to examine yesterday was the Inuit. Okay, so the group that we began to examine yesterday were the Inuits. The students that I have, they're in the highest group at the school, and right now we're doing U.S. history. They absolutely love it. We um, integrate a lot of current events. They have to bring in two current events articles every Monday. And so right now we're just beginning U.S. history, and so we're dealing with the um, problems and solutions that humans might face in terms of their basic needs and then the solutions they use to meet those needs. We know that if they lived in an area that was flat, treeless, and frozen beneath the surface, we know that this was not an environment that was good for what? Was this an environment that would be good for farming? No. No. And so how would the Inuit meet their basic need for food? Kyra. The Inuit met their basic need for food by fishing and also hunting games. They're expected to achieve more, and this is what they'll see when they reach 6th and 7th and 8th grade. They're always going to continue moving forward. There's always something for them to do. So the high-achieving students, they're placed where they need to be placed, and they're encouraged to continue going further and further. Good morning, everybody. From urban Atlanta to rural Nebraska, the comprehensive direct instruction model, along with implementation support from NIFTY, offers schools a means of helping all kids achieve their true potential. What a year we had in reading, and you guys did so good. Let's give ourselves a big hand. I've been principal here at Emerson Elementary School for 14 years. In the past, we'd used different types of reading approaches. You know, we've used whole, whole language. We've used some balanced literacy pieces, doing a variety of different things. And we just were not seeing the type of results we wanted to see from our reading program. And I would have middle school teachers that would say, why are you sending us kids that cannot read? Come on up, spider monkeys. Come on up. They worked hard this year. Give me five, you guys. Way to go. Good job. Here you go, honey. Look at, they're already looking at their books. We wanted a program where students could achieve mastery, and that's what the Reading Mastery Program has given us. This program meets the needs of children at all levels, and the exciting thing about it is that once these kids do learn how to read, then as they go through the higher levels of Reading Mastery, they, they get into the novel studies, and they're able to do so many of those really fun, enriching type things that, that makes reading what it is. It, it's just a great adventure. <laughs> to places we've never been. And when you look at these balloons, look how high that they're going. Your message and your name is gonna go a long ways. So we're ready to start counting backwards from five. Five, four, 
For more information on what direct instruction can do for your students, contact the National Institute for Direct Instruction toll-free at 1-877-485-1973 or email nifty at info at nifdi.org. You can also find Nifty on the World Wide Web at www.nifty.org.